<laughs> how many of you have a dog? All right. How many of you have a dog that's over 50 pounds? Not too many. Now just try to imagine having a dog that's 150 pounds or more. We have Great Danes at our house and that's about the average size of the Danes that we've had. Now, not only do Danes have big bodies, but they have big personalities as well. Overall, they're a great breed. One minute they're galloping, galloping, not running, <laughs> through the lawn or through the house. And the next minute they are fast asleep for hours on end. They love their sleep. <laughs> but let me tell you, if you were expecting these to be these graceful, majestic beasts, they're not. Sometimes, but it's like 1% of the time. The other 99% of the time, they're these goofy animals that don't know how to control their own legs. <laughs> but once you've had one, like we did, we had two. Once you've had them for a while, you're not going to want another dog. Um, both of my parents had at least one Great Dane growing up. My dad had one, and my mom had three. But they had such amazing experiences with these dogs that they left a long-lasting impression on my parents. So once my parents start, had a family, we decided that a Great Dane would be the best dog for us. Um, but we didn't get our first Great Dane until 2010, which is when we brought little baby Ozzy home with us. There's him right there. That was the first day home. Um, we knew the average size of a Great Dane. Pretty big. But we did not expect Ozzy to get to the size that he was. At his prime state, about four to five years old, he was 210 pounds and 38 inches at the shoulders. Um, so that's him. Again. So, he was no doubt my dad's dog. He would follow him around like his own little shadow. Whenever my dad went outside, Ozzy would go outside. He always had to see what my dad was up to. Um, he would occasionally even take a sip out of my dad's beer. My mom wasn't too happy about that. Um, but... He just loved my dad. My dad loved having him around and following him around all the time. But when Ozzy was about five years old, we found a website, well, my mom found a website, of a Great Dane rescue story. So there was a lady who had these Great Danes in a basement, terrible conditions, inches of feces and small spaces and fighting for food. And there was 10 dogs just for puppy mills. And out of it, we got Annie. She was our rescue Dane. Um, she was a little more shy and te tedious against people, but she ended up being my mom's companion. <laughs> uh, same with Ozzy. Everywhere my mom went, Annie went. It was a little more heartfelt, though, because Annie didn't want to be alone. Um, but... She was only about 145 pounds, and uh, her back legs were a little more crouched because she didn't know how to walk. Um, but as soon as we brought her home, she was perfect. Perfect fit for us. Um, here's some more pictures of Annie. She was a snuggle bug. Uh, they're just the sweetest dogs on the planet. They love to cuddle. They're not the best lap dogs. But they'll give you hugs, they'll press their faces up against you, and they're amazing. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, there's that one again. Annie. But even as senior dogs, we had them for... Annie was 11, and Ozzy was 10. So even at that age, they acted just like puppies. They would run around for a little bit, and they would come back in and relax and snuggle and be them goof their goofy selves. They loved the attention, let me tell you that. But goofballs. Complete goofballs. Um, 
<clears throat> you wouldn't think that dogs would have such a lasting impression on us, but when we had to put them down about a year ago, it was probably the hardest thing that my family and I have had to do. They were part of the family. They made our home complete. And when they were gone, we didn't really know what to do. Um, we lost a little piece of our home. So, yeah. Our house didn't feel like a home without them there. Without a small pony-sized dog begging for beer and cheese. <laughs> So I guess the point of the story is Great Danes are a forever dog. Once you have one, you're not going to want a different dog. <laughs>